Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. What up, guys? It's your boy APT Songs here. I am back with another reaction from the death of Slim Shady, Coupe de Gras LP, courtesy of Mr. Eminem, Marshall Mathers, aka Slim Shady. And so we are down to the absolute last couple of tracks on the main album. And so we have a skit here called Guess Who's Back? And then that goes into the official song, which is called Somebody Save Me featuring Jelly Roll. So we're going to play through the skit and then to the track, and I'll react to it. By the way, guys, be sure to check out my new album, Allow Me to Reintroduce Myself, which is currently available on all streaming platforms. Features my newest song, the parody of Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us called Jesus Loves Us, which uh, you can stream on that album as well. So let's go ahead and get to this new, uh, this new uh, song by Eminem. First the skit called Guess Who's Back, and then Somebody Save Me. Here we go. Oh, so that's the ending of Toby. Okay, great. Hey, it's King Kenneth. Been waiting a long time for this shit. Yay! Long time no seeing. Thought you got rid of my ass, huh? Yeah. Half a bag of Viagra. <laughs> Reach around and grab ya, bruh. Sometimes I wonder if my homie's gay. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting Kick and If on this album, but I'm so glad he brought him back. Hey. Wait, where'd everybody go? They left me again. <laughs> <laughs> Half a bag of <laughs> oh, that skit was just so great. So freaking great. Oh, my God. I I missed Ken Kniff. I'm sure you did, too. Okay. So now on to this next track called Somebody Save Me. Here we go. Daddy? Daddy? Get by now she Come eat. I'm a little so tired. Just come eat. May not be here in a minute, I promise. Stop. Well, then wake up. Shut the door. Somebody save me. That sounds like that happened when he was uh, still on drugs and trying to come out of him, and his daughter's trying to convince him to come eat, but he's probably just laying in bed. Me from myself. I've been so Another pill as I start the spiral Message to my daughters, I don't even deserve the father title Haley, I'm so sorry, I know I'm Okay, so we are rehashing back to the end of Revival Where he's talking about like him almost dying and him being a bad father in, in that sense, okay Wasn't there for your first guitarist idol Didn't walk you down the aisle Missed the birth of your first child Your first podcast looking down Sweetie, I'm so proud of how you turned out Oh, so this is if he had actually died, basically. Sorry that I chose drugs and put them above you. Sorry that I didn't love you enough to give them up how to fuck to. I not love you more than a pill looking up to the ceiling from this floor on the wheel. Somebody save me. Sounds almost like a country track because like Jelly Roll's voice ver sounds very country-like. So it's like it's got that bit of twang to it. Me from myself. Been so long living in here. They say my lifestyle is bad for my health. It's the only thing that seems to fail. Elena, sorry that you had to hear me fall in the bathroom. Sorry that I missed you graduate. Wait, Nate, I should just congratulate you on being a dad too. Carter and Liam look at you. Little bro, sorry I left you. Sorry that I'll never get to. Hold a hug, my little nephews. Stevie, I'm sorry I missed you. Grow up and I didn't get to be the dad I wanted to be to you. Things I wanted to see you do. This is my song from me to you. Sorry I came up, but I'm just so defeated. God, what the fuck you want me to do? Somebody save me. Me from myself has been so long living in hell. 
So, so far, if I'm being honest, it's a very heartfelt song. I, I'm i used to Eminem's albums ending with a little more craziness and a little more, like, outside of Revival, most of his albums usually end with, like, some kind of major banger or some kind of, like, like if it's Slim Shady, it's like, oh, I'm back to being Slim Shady or whatever. Now, granted, he's killing him off in this album, so I don't fully expect him to do that, but I'm not sure I expect him to go this route either. Again, especially considering the reception of Revival, to end it on a Revival-style note is kind of interesting to me. They say my lifestyle is bad for my health It's the only thing that seems to tell I've been staring at the video of Haley almost daily Of her playing the guitar in hopes maybe that will give me the power to fight But the addict give me some coward, he told me that I can't do it had a second chance, blew it It's like I'm stuck inside an alternate reality But I know I'll turn it around And be able to walk her and Laney one day To the altar as proud as can be Right now I'm just weak As I fall further down in this deep Holding farther in the ground that I sink As they lower me in my coffin I feel the tears all falling down on my cheek I can see how if, if somebody was a recovering addict and they heard this song that they would feel all the emotions of this stuff. I've I've never personally done drugs. I had like an edible for the first time when I turned 41 just because I was like, I want to try it out. And it, it, it was not a satisfying experience. So I, I don't have that same journey. So I imagine people that have been through that journey, this is probably going to hit them a little bit harder than it is me. He's got a good voice, so I'll give him that. Jelly Roll can sing his ass off. Yeah, so for me, guys, that is a an uneven note to end the album on. Like, because again, I'm looking at like the the, the totality of the album where we go from like Slim Shady craziness to bringing in Eminem back to some Marshall, then back to the Slim Shady again, then uh, in Guilty Conscious 2, obviously Slim Shady gets killed off, at which point we're dealing with like Eminem and Marshall, the rest of the album, which is fine. But I, I think I would have preferred a stronger, more upbeat ender. Like Somebody Save Me is a good song that I wish would have come after, let me see on here, would have come after Temporary. Like, Temporary and Somebody Save Me go great together. He could have gone to Toby and then had Guess Who's Back be, like, the end, the end skit, and then I'd have been like, that's cool. But if for the, the main track listing, that to me is, is a weak ender. It doesn't make it a weak song, mind you. It doesn't make it a weak song. It just makes it a weak ender, given all the craziness I just went through. So I would say, like, the track order-wise, that could have been placed in a better part of the album. Closer to the end, of course, but, like, not at the very end. But that's my that's my opinion. That's my response. To that. I think in terms of like the heartfeltness, I like I like it's almost like we're in an alternative timeline. We're like, what if in the revival, instead of him actually living through that, he actually died. And now he's up in heaven looking down at all the stuff that he missed out on. Like, I do appreciate storytelling wise coming from that angle. But again, I just wish it was a little bit earlier on in the track listing, because for me, I'm like now I'm just kind of like, oh, that's just how, how the album ends. Uh, uh, OK, so I'm glad we have bonus tracks to look forward to. But let me know your guys' thoughts. What do you think about that being the last track? Did you think it was a, a good ender? Did you think it was it could have been better? Did you like the song overall? Did you not like it? Leave it down in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out my new album. Allow me to reintroduce myself available on all streaming platforms. Links are in the description. I'm APT Songs, and I'll catch you guys on the next reaction. Yo, you look so high, but your mama's so high.